Hi, my name is Darlene Honey. Yay, welcome to my first video in 2021. In this video I'm painting a Minish from The Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. I wanted to do that because it's a sweet and easy comic style picture and perfect for trying out something new. This video is completely out of my comfort zone because I'm using acrylic paints the first time in my life. My boyfriend already gave me some acrylic paint pens years before as presents, but I only use them when I need to correct mistakes in drawings when I can't correct them using pencils or something else. I don't know why, but I was always really afraid of using them. Since acrylic paints are a thick medium, it feels completely different when applying it as when you are using pencils or watercolor. I never used such a medium before. Not even in school. I think that's why I was frightened so much of it. This year I got again acrylic paint pens and acrylic paints for Christmas. My boyfriend asked me again to try them out and create paintings using them. So I felt pushed to just use them at least once and see what happens. I started using them on weekend to really have time and not trying them out under time pressure. Because when I'm under time pressure I'm always impatient and freaking out if things are not working as I expect them to work. Before starting this video I also had to get myself new acrylic brushes. I had ones years ago but I once painted a picture frame using acrylics and was, on, was not able to clean my brushes properly. I had a special soap for that but somehow the paint didn't go off. Then, I then it dried into the brushes and the brushes got destroyed. So now I bought myself two sets of quite cheap brushes. That's maybe not the best idea because you need to pay a bit more to get pro pro quality brushes. But since I'm not sure if I like using acrylics at all, I think that's enough for now. The plastic plate for mixing the colors I already had before, so that's not me. By the way, I got myself new masking tapes as well, because the washi tapes I used were not strong enough to hold down the paper. I'm using the new ones the first time. Using watercolors I experienced that taping down the paper on my desk is not the best idea. The problem is that sometimes I need to move the paper, which I can't do that. I mean I can't move the table around, and since my desk is rectangle I also can't move myself around it as I want. Therefore, I asked my boyfriend for some kind of heavy, heavy wooden plate, which is a bit bigger than A4, to be able to tape it down there. Now I can move the wooden plate as I need it, which makes drawing and painting much more comfortable. What I somehow regret is using this acrylic paint pen on the end of the painting, because its lines are too thick for that painting. That makes it look like a kid has painted it. I will order myself another one which is a bit thinner I think. Do you know if I can use acrylic ink on my acrylic painting? Because then I would be able to create outlines the same way as I did for Linktober. That would make things much easier. If you know something about that please write it into the comment section below. It would help me a lot. Now we are at the end of my first acrylic painting video. Use the comment section below to let me know what you think about it. If I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye!